Yes, friends. So all that will contain. Question number two we are talking about. Now, second says that uh, and five kilometers upstream in two hours and thirty minutes, right? So per uh, kilometer, sorry, per hour we have to find out that what is the rate of that. That will be equal to x plus y and x minus y and then solution. Let me write what is given to us. Given a man can row 15 kilometer. Let me take kilometer. 15 kilometers in 3 and 3 upon 4. What do you mean? 3 hours and 45 minutes. How do you convert this in hours? That means 3 and 45 upon 60. That means 45 means 15. 3 is 45. 15 4 is 60. 3 by 4. 3 and 3 by 4 hours. In 3 by 3 hours and 3 and 3 by 4 hours so a man can row 15 km in this much downstream this is the point here downstream while he moves or he can upstream he can move upstream rows and while he rows yeah 5 km I am writing short 5 km in 2 and 2 1.2 2, 2 hours 30 minutes it is given to us as 2 hours and 30 minutes this is the given to us so here we are taking 2 and half hours this is upstream alright in upstream 5 km in 2 and half hours right upstream this is upstream this is downstream we are doing now we have to find out to find here it was given to us right we were given here upstream find is the speed in still water and also the speed of the current both speeds to find the speeds of the man of the man and of the end of that of the end of that of the stream given current here it is given current no problem current or stream or whatever okay so that I already defined that what is current is speed or the current is stream river or water, water body, whatever is given to us. So that is stream. The speed of the stream, the speed of the current, the speed of the river, the speed of the water body, whatever is given. Here it is given current. No problem. Let us take the point. Now he says that 15 kilometer per hour. So the speed we always sorry, the speed we always take with the speeds. Let me find the solution. First, let me write solution here. And let me define first that the speed of the man in still water it says what is the find is the speed in still water and whenever we calculate the speed of the boat or the speed of the as I just described in the beginning that that means in still water the speed of the boat is in still water always you cannot say that the speed of the water you know, boat is in running water what does it mean that means then we are including that speed of the current also okay but in this case without speed without i mean any motion when water is in a still position or in is not moving is a non-moving position then we calculate this the speed of the boat the speed of the man that means this is still water that i'm i have not written here but here i'm writing here the speed of the man in still water in still water be x kilometer per hour all right and and speed of of this stream this current here let me write current here and this speed of the current we by kilometer per hour right then it moves 15 kilometer 
पर आर बी एफ टू फाइंड आउट सो टीन अपॉन वो डेट इस स्पीड और रेट सॉरी टाइम थ्री आर्स एंड थ्री बाय फोर दैट वी हैव टू राइट हियर सो एक्सप्रेस बाय देर फोर स्पीड डाउन इस देर फोर एक्सप्रेस बाय इस कॉल्ड टू फिफ्टीन डिवाइडेड बाय थ्री एंड थ्री बाय फोर थ्री एंड थ्री बाय फोर आर्स इस फिफ्टीन किलोमीटर पर आर बी एफ टू � Fifteen into now three four the twelve and the three fifteen fifteen upon four in the denominator. So four will come in the numerator and fifteen in the denominator. Fifteen fifteen cancel out which is equal to four kilometer. <coughs> so this is first equation or x plus y is equal to four. This is first equation. And let me find the second equation. Secondly, let me solve it here. Now everything is clear. Solution we are calculating. Solution. Secondly, okay. Secondly, the speed downstream of the man downstream. The speed of the man downstream. This is, and the speed of the man. Whenever the speed of the man or boat is to be calculated, that means downstream or upstream. That means boat, boat's speed, combined speed, boat's upstream or downstream is boat's or man's combined speed. <coughs> okay, so this is what we are giving here. Okay. Therefore, x minus y is equal to now he says that upstream it comes five kilometer in two hours and uh, okay, so five upon two and half. And a half. That means five upon five upon two. Try to understand. This is equal to five into two upon five. Five five times five. This is two hours. So oh, sorry, two kilometer per hour. This is the second equation. Or it was equal to two. So here x minus y is equal to two. This is second equation. All right. Simple question now. Let us check. Therefore. Second issue, second equation is this, and x plus y is equal to one. Sorry, x plus y was equal to how much? Four. It was four here. All right, it was four because fifteen upon fifteen upon four, four, four have come in the numerator. So this is the first equation. Again, directly let me calculate. Therefore. The speed of the man in still water. That means directly I am putting the formula. This is equal to x equal to 1.2 into 4 minus 2. Sorry, 4 plus 2. I am sorry. This is value of x. Man's speed. Man's speed is sum of the two, two downstream and upstream. Sum of them. So this is 4 plus 2. That means six upon two. That means three kilometer per hour. This is value of x. While y equal to and y is equal to one point two into four minus two. Downstream is four kilometer per hour. This four and upstream is two to four minus two. So that means two upon two. Four minus two, two, two upon two means one kilometer per hour. There are two answers here. Therefore, the speed of the arm. Now let me write the answer here. Therefore, our hands is speed of the man in still water is equal to three kilometer. Per hour, and the speed of the current is equal to one kilometer per hour. This is the answer. These two are the answers. Got the point? Simple question. Just put the direct. I mean formula. Shortcut formula which I described in the beginning that can be used directly. Just calculate first. The value of the upstream, downstream, what is total values x plus y and x minus y, and then find the solution. That is the simple hint. Now, question number three. Let me talk about. 
First let me clean this. Okay. Let me first clean this. Yes, guys. So, question number three now. Now, question number three, what is given to us? Let me first read it. Then, right here, what is given? The speed of a motor boat of length 20 meters. This is very important point. Of 20 meter length. Now, motor boat is having 20 meter its length in water without current. Without current means is 40 km per hour ok so 20 meters is length motor boats or without current means in still water right the speed of a motor boat of length 20 meters in water without current is 40 km now value of x is given to us if the motor boat sailing against a river current against a river current of 4 km per hour crosses a temple on the bank in 10 seconds Right, and crosses a yeah, and crosses a temple on the bank in ten seconds. Find the length of the temple. Length of the temple we have to find out. Now first is that in twenty yeah twenty meters length of the motor boat. Now length of the temple let me take x meters. The x meter per first part to convert the speed of this. 40 km per hour in, in meter per second because this is kilometer per hour so length is given in meter per second so that we have to given okay so meter 20 meter in water without current is 40 km per hour okay the motor boat sailing against a river that means x minus y we have to find out the speed of the motor uh, sorry of the current is not given and uh, okay then it says find the length of the temple so length of the temple if we calculate with the speed i would say selling angest river current of four kilometer per hour that is the speed of the that is given to us four kilometer per hour right that is speed of the uh, i mean um, uh, what do you call upstream speed is given that is the motor boat selling angest river current of four kilometer per hour river current of 4 km per hour crosses the temple on the bank in 10 seconds so that means current river current of 4 km per hour right the, that means the current speed is given 4 km per hour that is the speed of the, the speed of the current of the uh, yeah of the current end of the boat or so the of, of the motor boat is given both the speeds are given x and y values are given now it says now because the, this is upstream now length of that then now time is given 10 seconds so 10 seconds if it takes then in meter per second first we have to convert in meter per second find the length of the temple so length, length of the temple we will consider let me first write what is given to us we are given here the speed the speed of the motor boat motor boat of length or the length of motor 20 meters of length 20 meters of 20 meters is 40 kilometer per hour in still water we can say without current that means in still water in uh, still water we can say and still water or we can say without current simple without current that is given to us and uh, sailing on the river okay and the current speed and the speed of the current is 4 km per hour this is also given and 
द मोटर बोट ये मोटर बोट एंड द मोटर बोट क्रॉस इज और ये क्रॉस इज ए टैंपो क्रॉस इज ए टैंपो क्रॉस इज ए टैंपो इन टेन सेकंड्स टेन सेकंड कमिंग अप ओपर्स कमिंग अप स्ट्रीम राइट सेलिंग अंगेस्ट रिवर ओके कमिंग इन टेन सेकंड कमिंग अंगेस्ट रिवर against against the current river current or against the current it says river current no problem river current i am writing that means coming up stream or coming up stream this is sorry coming up stream simple point is here to find here find length of the tempo length of the tempo that we have to find out solution now try to understand this solution let length of the tempo be let length of the tempo of the tempo be T meters. Let me take T meter. Temple T meters. Okay, no problem. T meters. Then, okay. First is downstream. The speed x equal the speed of the motor boat. The speed of the motor boat. Motor boat is equal to forty kilometer per hour. is given 40 km per hour here yeah, 40 km per hour 40 km per hour equal to 40 into 5.18 try to understand why this is 5.18 because we have to convert this into meter per second to 9 ja and to 20 times 5 to the 10 100 upon 9 meter per second this is the speed of the motor boat that means x equal to which we usually take x kilometer per hour in a still water this is the speed of the motor boat and uh, the speed of the current and the speed of the current is equal to 5 or uh, how much there is 4 kilometer per hour 4 kilometer per hour is equal to 4 into 5 upon 18 simple it is 5 to the 10 upon 9 to puja to 9 ja it is 10 upon 9 meter per second these two we have calculated now let us take let me write them here so what we have calculated solution this is solution so speed so speed of the motor boat equal to we have written down here 40 km per hour which we have converted into 100 upon 9 meter per second simple this is first equation secondly and the speed of the current the river current or current Is equal to 10 upon 9 meter per second, which we have just converted. No problem. Or we can write 4 kilometer per hour equal to 10 upon 9 meter per second. That we just calculated. 4 kilometer per hour is 4 into 5 upon 9. 5 upon 18. Sorry, 5 upon 18. So 9, uh, 2 nine are 18 and 2 to the 4. So 5 to the 10 upon 9. These two things are calculated. Now what does it say? Therefore, the total length. The total length to be covered, to be crossed, to be covered by the motor boat, by the motor boat, is equal to 20 meter is the length of the motor boat plus t meter we have taken length of the tempo. 
This length upon upstream speed. Now, speed upstream. Speed upstream. Speed upstream is equal to x minus y. X minus y we usually use here x is 100 upon this, 100 upon 9 and 10 upon 9. This is 100 upon 9 minus 10 upon 9. This is 90 upon 100 minus 9. 9 is LCM here, so 90 upon 9 that means 10 meter per second. 10 meter per second. So x minus y is 10 meter per second. This is the speed here. But this is speed. This I mean. Uh, uh, relative, this is only relative speed in this case. If this is a relative speed, the distance is to be crossed. Okay, this is crossed in 10 seconds. It says in 10, 10 seconds. The speed is 10 meter per second. Therefore, time taken to cross the temple, to cross the temple is equal to. 20 plus t the length of the temple plus length of the motorboat divided by this speed which is 10 meter per second okay this is the time but this time given to us as 10 minutes for the 10 seconds so equal that to 10 seconds but but time is given as 10 seconds because it says that the motorboat crosses the temple in 10 seconds with the length of the temple. So this 10 or imply that this time which is 20 plus the length of the temple upon a speed which is 10 meter per second is equal to 10 seconds. This implies that 20 plus t is equal to 100 cross multiplying and t is equal to therefore 100 minus 20 that is 80 meters this is the answer here try to understand so length of the temple is 80 meters simple question okay now you have got you might have got this now the reason is this we have to find out what is the length of the temple the length of the temple plus the length of the motor boat is to be crossed by the motor boat as we were doing the questions of trains when the two trains were crossing each other then the length of the two trains were added up that length was to be crossed then it, it was said that the train has crossed the the trains have been crossed or they have crossed each other okay they will take this time cross so similarly the temple's length plus length of the motorboat is to be crossed by the motorboat and this is 80 meters length therefore length of the temple therefore length of the temple Length of the temple is 80 meters. This is the answer. Answer. Okay. Question number three completed. Let us take the next question. Now, question number four. Now, question number four. Question number four now. What is given to us? Let me talk about. Now given to us for question number four. A man can row 12 km per hour downstream and 3 km per hour upstream. What is the speed of the boat in still water? Right? Also find the speed of the current. Simple question. What is given to us? A man can row a man can row how much 12 km per hour 12 km this is sorry 12 km per hour downstream here yeah, downstream downstream and 3 km per hour upstream and 3 km per hour upstream Okay, to find here, we will find out, we will find the speed of both, 
Only the speed of the boat in still water and also find the speed of the boat and find the speed of the boat here. A man can do what is the speed of the boat in still water? The speed of the boat is in still water and the speed of the current or the stream, the speed of the current also and the speed of the current. Both we have to find out. Now see the solution here. Solution. Now in this case again we have to assume that let x km per hour is the speed of the boat in still water and the speed of the current is y km per hour. Let us take we always assume that let the speed of the boat in still water be 